space, 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 space. <laughs> our drive to explore our local slice of the universe has been the proverbial rocket up the backside of scientists and engineers. The challenges posed by the cold vacuum of space have led to some remarkable inventions like the pressurized spacesuit, the ablative heat shield, and even the zero gravity toilet. But not all the innovations that have been necessary for probing the solar system belong solely on the launch pad. A surprising number have found their way into everyday lives and some in the most unexpected of ways. And so drum roll please. As here is the countdown of my top five favorites. Number 5 Freeze dried food When I'm on the run, it's my only food of choice. Astronauts are basically superhuman, but they still gotta eat. However, sending stuff into space isn't cheap. About $20,000 per kilo. So chicken mega buckets are, quite frankly, impractical. <laughs> NASA needed a food solution that was energy dense, meaning more calories per gram. During the freeze drying process, food is frozen rapidly so that all the water inside is turned into small ice crystals. It is then put into a vacuum and gradually heated so that the ice turns to vapor and evaporates away. The result is a solid, practically unperishable food that weighs just 20% of what it did before, meaning five times as much of it can be carried into space. Once there, all it takes is a little water to rehydrate and you have a perfectly nutritious and varied meal. Today, freeze drying has made it into almost every home in the form of instant coffee granules and dried fruits. And the process is widely used to increase the shelf life of injectable medicines, allowing them to be shipped wherever they are needed most. Four. Water filters! I'm so happy right now! Not exactly like this, but water filtration on a much larger and more critical scale. While a dicky tummy is unpleasant here on Earth, it can be catastrophic in space. Nobody wants to have to deal with diarrhea in microgravity. And if the whole crew get ill, well, Houston, we have a problem. Introducing the microbial check valve. This clever bit of kit placed in the spaceship plumbing system doses out iodine at a steady and consistent rate. This iodine does a pretty excellent job of killing germs, wiping out more than 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses in contaminated water. Great news for astronauts and even better news for roughly 1 billion people in rural and developing areas without the luxury of clean water. These microbial check valves are now being installed in municipal water systems worldwide. Cleaning water, saving lives. Nice job, NASA. Number three. Oh, hi there. The cordless vacuum cleaner. When Apollo astronauts landed on the moon, they did much more than plant a flag and bounce around. In the interest of science, they had a full schedule of experiments, which included drilling into the moon for samples of bedrock. Now, this drill had to be the best of both worlds. It had to be small and lightweight, but also had to be powerful enough to penetrate 10 feet of moon rock. Oh, and it needed to be totally cordless and portable too. Rising to the challenge, the Black & Decker Corporation. Have you heard of them? They created a battery-operated drill with a brand new and sophisticated computer program to minimize power consumption by the motor. And it worked a charm, helping Apollo astronauts to bring back 382 kilograms of lunar geology samples. Back on Earth, Black & Decker's innovative cordless technology held obvious appeal, and one of its first applications was in the cordless vacuum cleaner. Very handy for cleaning those hard to reach places. Number two. Now, I'm going out on a limb here, but at number two, it's artificial limbs. The ideal prosthetic limb will look as realistic as possible while also being mobile enough to give the person some fine motor control. Modern artificial limbs developed by private companies answer these calls with an impressive synthesis of two space techs. Firstly, memory foam. When developing a new material to improve crash protection for airplane and spaceship passengers, NASA researchers stumbled across a foam that was extraordinarily soft and energy absorbent. Ah. Importantly, this can be incorporated into prostheses to not only allow a snug and comfortable tray-free attachment, but also to provide the relatively natural look and feel of flesh. But without control, even the best looking prostheses isn't really doing much. So this is where space technology is really revolutionizing the prosthetic limb. In order to conduct 
delicate robotic operations during spacewalks, private companies in collaboration with NASA are developing artificial muscle systems that are able to move and sense. The material used is a gel-like substance with the bounce and elasticity of gummy bears. They are synthetic muscles that, when powered with an electrical charge, contract and expand like human tissue and could one day make artificial limbs move in lifelike motions, vastly improving the wearer's mobility. Number one. And so now we come to our number one. And I think you'll agree, it's the snazziest of all of our space spin-offs, the Riblet swimsuit. You would be forgiven for wondering at why there's a need for a swimsuit in space, which is notoriously lacking in hot tubs. But nevertheless, a particular NASA invention has been responsible for drastically improving the performance of smartly dressed swimmers, yachts, and yes, even aeroplanes. The secret to success is in tiny riblets. No, not a barbecue treat for the calorie conscious, but tiny grooves etched into the surface which are surprisingly effective at reducing drag and turbulence that can slow a craft down. A similar microscopic structure can be found on the sleek skin of sharks, so it's not surprising that when riblets were incorporated into high-performance swimwear, they proved to be 10 to 15% faster than any other swimsuit on the market. I bet all your jaws just dropped. Jaws? Like the shark? It works, I think. They were so successful, in fact, and helped athletes to break and set so many world records that they were eventually banned from competition in 2010. But you can still wear them to speed past grannies at your local Lido, which is excellent news for me. So, next time you take a break from hoovering coffee granules out of your deep shag, just think about how much our lives have improved through the exploration of space. Sure, these inventions have helped provide clean water to developing countries and given a new lease of life to amputees, but I think what is really important here is just how great I look in this amazing swimsuit. <laughs> so there you go, that's my top five favorite space inventions, but what's yours? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more science videos.